This is for is Turley's challenge on uh, navigating to a spot you've never been before with map and compass. And uh, here's my compass and map. And I want to go to this little depression here. I'm not sure if it's a doesn't look like it has any crooks flowing in or out, so it just might be like a sea pole, maybe some cattails there. Never been there, so I don't know. It looks like we're going to cross a small creek, and I know in the lower part of that creek there's fish, but I don't know what it's like up high. Right now I'm parked at this intersection of Three Logging Roads and Ingalls Road. And there's a logging road, pick up, Ingalls Road, the other two logging roads. So I know where I am right now. And if I get my map oriented to true north, my compass I have, have a automatic declination setting at 16 degrees off here so there we are we're set to north if I take a reading from the intersection of these roads to the center of that pond it looks like we're about 80 degrees so if I walk 80 degrees, a bearing of 80, 81 degrees, I'll hopefully hit the center of that pond. It's not real far. It's only about a mile and a half, mile and a quarter. So we'll start walking. We've made it to the creek. And it's uh, real brushy. And I think at the moment, I'm right about in there. You can see some pretty steep contour lines right there coming to a point at the creek. I think I'm just above those. In the little pond, it's maybe another half mile up. And right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot a new bearing and I'm gonna head up this way and cross that creek head back to try and get on track again and continue on it's just a little too brushy for me to get through right here and it's a steep drop probably 20 feet down through a real nasty tangle but it looks if I head up around the point I see a lot of ferns looks like flatter ground so I should only have to go maybe 50 yards and cross the creek and then come back this direction 50 yards and get back on line and continue on okay we should be back on line that's a little maple tree I was looking across at and I was standing on a stump that's back in there so if I line up the stump I was standing on with the edge of this maple tree it should put me right in line and if I shoot my 80 degrees again line up my arrows it looks like I'm gonna go right right to those two trees that cross there just the other side of them and we'll shoot another azimuth came to the creek, another creek. This one just feels like it's in the area where that pond should be. The terrain looks the same on the map. It's flat. It's flat in the bottom. So we're going to take a look around, see if we can find that road. And maybe get to a high point and uh, triangulate where we are. We'll see. 
we've climbed up out of that little depression where the creek was and where it's all green and we're, we're into a clear cut now still heading on 82 degrees 80 82 and uh, looks like there's a little knoll over there that's matching up to one that's shown on the map I don't know if you can see it's too sunny out now but there's a knoll over there another one back over in there and they're showing two like that on the map and there should be a road coming through the closer to us off that knoll over this ridge and heading that way so we'll go up and see if we hit that road the road should tell us we're in the right area right spot I don't always trust these maps because we've crossed three creeks now and there's only one on this map heading this way so We'll head up and see what's on this ridge. Hopefully a road. Now there's where I came from. Through all that timber. Get a clear cut. Followed this logging road up. I'm looking around. That hill. I can see that on the map. Down below it looks like a depression. That might be the sea pole I was looking for. There's a valley. We're going to keep walking up the road and try to find some landmarks. Okay, there's a house down there. I know that's on the map. It's been there for a long time. 100 years. <clears throat> Back when all they had was wood plank road on this valley. And that end of the valley, it's a house over there I know, and I, I, it's on the map. So I'm going to use those two spots to biangulate my location. So now that I have my two intersecting lines showing where I am, we know where that pond is. We're going to get our bearing to go to that pond. I just went and put my map back in its case, orient it once again to the north, and I'm going to set my compass up the direction we're going to be walking. Right now one edge is on the intersecting line, the other edge is right in the middle of that little pond. Just a minor adjustment on the compass. Flip this around, line up my direction arrow with my north needle. There we go, we're going to walk, looks like almost 200 degrees south. We're going south, so now we'll head that way. So we're heading our south, 200 degrees. I'm heading to that clump of trees over there. There's one in the middle that's pretty prominent. The trunk is... Uh, doesn't have any branches on it so I'm going to shoot straight for that lines up with my compass needles so there must be a little hole over there that is the wet spot shown on the map and that's starting to add up because that hill it's the tallest hill here that is shown right above that little wet spot we can see There's that little pond. There's a hill right there. 676 foot elevation, I think it is. So just in front of that hill, off to the right, somewhere in them clump of trees, should be our, our little low spot. So the cr creek we crossed earlier was the creek on the map across two three different creeks only one shown so I got a little bit mixed up there so we'll head to those trees see what's down in that hole we're close look at that it is a pond 
the map didn't lie. It's a good lesson, is trust the map more, I guess. Trust the compass. Going through that thick brush and timber down there, really. When I started crossing multiple creeks, I started to get a little confused, but being able to go back, see a few landmarks, find out where, exactly where I am again, and come back, cut back and cross my path and see that this is the pond, this is the swamp, whatever you want to call it. There is no creek coming out of it. There's no creek going into it. There's water. Looks like lily pads. We'll go down in there and take a look. That's it. That's the spot. We made it. Got a little sidetracked, but consider it a learning lesson. So this is what I was shooting for. I think when I broke out of the timber, I would have made it pretty close, but I was just unsure. So I walked off over the ridge and looked down in the valley to figure out exactly where I was. And uh, took a new bearing, and here we are. We hit it. So this is it. It's what I was trying to find. It's only surrounded by a clear cut. That's not what I was hoping. I was hoping it'd be a little secret spot in the woods, but middle of a cut. But I'm going to head back out of this, and I'm going to shoot to the the left of my truck. So I head back and hit a road. Once I hit that road, that'll take me right to my truck. So we'll we'll start that after a bit. I'm going to take a break. Okay, now we're going to leave the pond. I went to the west side of that pond. Got my map oriented to the north again. And now to find my new bearing. I'm going to go center of that pond shoot over there's a big curve a big curve in the road and then there's an intersection where my truck should be I'm going to shoot right between those to give me a good target good size target to hit so I put one edge of the compass on that pond and that same edge of the compass on center of that spot I want to hit I'm going to turn my dial, get my arrows to line up, and that's my new bearing. So it looks like about 245 degrees should take me back to that road. And when I hit that road, I'll turn to the right and go a little ways and hit my truck. So, looks like we're going to be walking right through there. Down through clear cut into the timber again. So here we go. Okay, we're crossing one of them little tiny cricks. A little drainage that they don't show on the map. I bet you in the wintertime this flow is pretty heavy. But uh, they don't show it. They don't show water here. But there is. That threw me for a loop because we crossed three different little places. We had water, cricks. We only show one. Well, we've been following our same heading at 245 and we just hit a little thick spot of brush, which always seems to be along the side of a road. And there's a road. So now that I know I purposely gave myself a bearing off to one side of my truck, I know I need to take a right and walk to the truck. Uh, we walked about maybe 200 yards and there's a pickup. So made it out. It's a nice day for a walk. And it's 4th of July, so happy 4th.